The most important thing that we have in our lives is time. It's not money, it's not objects, it's time. So if you want to take advantage of that time, it's not spent in a car. Moving your body from one location to another for 45 minutes twice a day. It's staying in a zone where you can get what you want by walking. People that have grown up in the suburbs, uh, the new millennials or the younger generation that's coming through, are sort of going anti-suburban. They don't want to have to drive to a Starbucks. We walk to the supermarket together, which is nice. It's a pleasure to walk down the street and see the, the other people that are living in your neighborhood and spend that time together walking and talking that we've been missing everywhere else that we've lived so far. To get out of a suburban area in the car would take 10 minutes plus, it sounds like a drag to sit in traffic, so why would you join someone? But they want the lifestyle, and the lifestyle happens with density. Park Boulevard then is, is a major north-south thoroughfare that is a transit line that has buses. The majority of the Ubers are traveling north and south there, but the most important part in the future, I think, of our transportation is gonna be the bikes. Having a car in this city, it just really, it just really sucks. It's uncomfortable to find parking. It's uncomfortable to sit in traffic. You're always worried about where it's parked, how you're gonna get back to it, and what's happening to it while you're gone. It really takes away the ability to enjoy the city and the design that's around us. I wake up before the sun rises. The light in this space is very special and the way it kind of has this golden hue that touches over everything. So the spaces were designed from the inside out so that each space that you go into has natural daylight. So in the daytime, you shouldn't have to turn any lights on whatsoever. On the street side, we started to experiment with these cast-in-place concrete fins. The fins act as a brise soleil. They act to cut out direct sunlight from the west side. So we're studying automobiles and the different classes of automobiles being from a sports car up to a grand Rolls Royce. And the fins were a little representation of the grill of the stately Rolls Royce. The Polk is really a community builder with high density, with community aspects of a rooftop terrace, with major connection to transportation, and it was really showing the people of San Diego what we need to not only grow as a city, but grow as a healthy city. We moved in just before our wedding, so that was really exciting to feel like we're starting our lives together and think about how we were gonna use the apartment as the years come. It'll be perfect to turn into a nursery. Yeah, let's have a baby in the space. <laughs> I think what we've learned over the last 30 years of doing this development is we always try to go into a neighborhood that would have a coffee shop, that would have some of the infrastructure, that would have some of the little stores. We now bring the people into those neighborhoods that create the cycle to start more coffee shops, more restaurants, more amenities for those communities. Keep what's there, build new, and create the soul.